This is how you can draw this cool pattern swatch inside Adobe Illustrator using only a few quick and simple steps. I'm Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Diagraphics. So here we are in Illustrator and the first thing we want to do is draw a perfect circle. So select the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key and draw a circle. For now the size doesn't matter. After drawing the circle and while still having the circle selected, go to the top of the screen and make sure this link is on. When the link is on, resize the circle to exactly 100 pixels. After resizing the circle, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and click paste in front. This creates a copy of the circle on top of the original. So while having this new copy selected, go to the top of the screen again, go to the X value and move this copied circle by adding 80 pixels to the X value. So type in plus 80. Then select the original circle and once again go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. This once again adds a copy of the circle on top of the original. So while having this copy selected, go to the Y value and once again type in plus 80. So now select all the three shapes, go to the shape builder tool and hold down the ALT key to get a minus sign next to the cursor and delete these shapes. Now select the two leftover shapes, give the fill a color you like, select the stroke and disable this one. Now zoom in to the shape, go to the ellipse tool and by using the smart guides find the exact middle of these shapes. When you see these two green smart guides you have found the exact middle. From here hold down the ALT key and the SHIFT key to draw a circle from the middle and out. Make the circle as big as you like and then give this circle a color. Now go to the selection tool and select all the shapes. Then go to object, go to pattern and go to make. And if you use the exact measurements I use in this video, you will not have to adjust anything in this panel because these measurements just fits mathematically. If let's say you wanted these shapes to be wider, you could do this by only moving the copied circles by for instance 75 pixels instead of the 80 pixels. But if you did this, the measurements won't fit exactly and you would have to fiddle with these numbers right here. The default tile would look more like this, which means that you would have to push the copies a little bit to the right and a little bit down. But we will go with the first example. So leave this panel as it is and simply click done. And now you're basically done, but I have a few bonus tips. So let's zoom out and delete the shapes we drew, we don't need these anymore. So now you have the pattern swatch over here. So simply just draw a shape and select the pattern swatch you just made. And if you want to change the colors later, you can just double click on the pattern swatch and adjust as you like. And if you want to scale the pattern swatch, you can go to the selection tool and select the pattern, then right click on the pattern, go to transform, go to scale, and from here you can type in the scale that you want and you can uncheck transform objects if you only want the pattern within the shape to scale. Then simply click OK. And if you want to return to the original size, simply click once again on the pattern swatch. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.